Finding a decent Android tablet on a strict budget can be pretty tough, man. There's a lot of stuff out there and you don't know what you're getting. And that's why you come here, man. So you can let me test this stuff out. That way you don't have to take the risk. <laughs> Hey, Wilson, check this out, man. This is the Notepad Max 10 Plus from Dragon Touch, man. This is their 10-inch tablet. It's their new one on the market. And I will tell you first off, like when you take it out of the package, you feel like you actually got a quality tablet, man. Uh, let me turn the screen off because we are charging. I'll tell you about that charging experience in just a moment. I got a lot of fingerprints here, man. That doesn't say anything about the tablet itself. I just got greasy fingers and a dog, okay? I've been using this tablet for about half a day. Uh, not even half a day, man, but probably about four hours collectively. So I, I've got some stuff on the screen. Uh, <laughs> okay, enough of that, enough of that. My dog, man, seriously. Anyways, you got your camera right there as far as hardware. Then on the right-hand side, you got a volume rocker and your power button right up top, right there, right there, right there, dude, right there, look. Okay, yeah, uh, that's your USB-C charging input. And if you take this little panel off right there, you're gonna find a TF card slot so you can expand that 32 gigs of uh, onboard memory that you get already. You can expand that with that TF card and you can see your camera set up right there. Now, while I'm on the camera, let me just throw up a couple of pictures I've taken. I've taken a picture with the rear camera and a picture with the front facing camera. Now, t uh, cameras on tablets, okay, in the past I've said they're not necessary on the back because whatever, but dude, you at least gotta have a decent camera, right? So. <laughs> Okay, so I get it. You might need to snap a photo of something on a tablet. These cameras right here, as you can see, you know, it's just kind of, <laughs> it's a camera. You got, you got a camera, okay? Now let me turn this thing back on, man. I got it plugged up because yesterday when I turned it on, it was about, mm, about 85%, I think, something like that. So, you know, it does take a little bit of uh, battery to get all your stuff on here. I did not download all my Android you know, database on here, just my email and stuff like that. This morning when I fired up the cameras to shoot this video, uh, I noticed that it was at, um, it was about 40 some percent. And then I started playing just a little bit of Asphalt 9 and a little bit of Stadia. I watched about three minutes of a YouTube video and then the battery said 13%. So I was like, wow, that was pretty quick. So I charged it up, or I started charging, and it is, it's a fairly slow charging process, man. You're gonna get this charger in the box. It's, um, it's I think five volts, 200, is 200, 200, wait, no, 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 200, 2,000 milliamps. Okay, 500, five volts, 2,000 milliamps. Getting that in the box, but it's not a fast charging tablet. It doesn't have like a fast charging feature, so. It's gonna take its uh, sweet time to charge. Now you do get three gigs of RAM on this. So you do get a, a fair amount of speed, I guess you would say it, it is reactive. You can see it moving around just like that. You know, I got my widgets, so not widgets, but I got all my stuff downloaded here. I've done some Amazon in on there. I think this will actually be a good tablet for like a home hub or something like that. Something inexpensive that you can, you know, mount on the wall or just keep, you know, on a, on a desktop or something, you can see here I've got my smart things. Man, that took a long time to load up. <laughs> got my smart things right here. Oh wow, my wife left work and turned off everything. I'm so proud, baby. I'm so proud of you. You turned off all the lights. I'm so I'm so excited. Okay, so you can see here I got my home hub in action. I can see my wife turned off all the lights, girl. Oh, it's on when you get home tonight. I'm proud of you, girl. So let me clear that out because I saw right there I was using one and a half gig of three gigs of RAM, okay? I don't wanna use up all the RAM there. Uh, I do think you can check your emails on this. I've done that, I've checked and answered emails. But when you get a tablet, it's usually for media consumption, ebook reading and, and gaming and stuff like that and watching YouTube and Netflix and Hulu. So I just got a new Giant Schnauzer puppy and uh, I've been watching a ton of Giant Schnauzer uh, videos. So <laughs> let's just watch one of these videos, man. It's a beautiful dog. Like once they grow up there, I mean, he's adorable as a kid, but uh, you know, once they grow up, they're very royal and regal looking dogs. I, I love how beautiful that coat is. Anyways. Yeah, man, so you can get your YouTube on here. This is a 1080p screen. So let's see if we can get that full 1080p action going. Let me tap on these little dots here. Okay, we got the 1080p going. Let's get that full screen action. 
All right, this is it right here. This is 1080p. This is what you get, man. And you know, it's not a bad looking 1080p. It's just, you know, it's it's just not your best screen hardware. It's not like a Samsung AMOLED screen or nothing like that. We are talking about a budget tablet. So yeah, you're definitely going to get a very viewable and, and enjoyable experience out of YouTube. Uh, you're just not gonna get your high-end stuff. You gotta manage your expectations when you spend a certain level of money. Now, here's a real question, man. When you get a tablet, you wanna watch that YouTube, wanna watch that uh, Hulu and Netflix, but does it game though? Now I haven't played Asphalt in a long time, but this is an Android game and it is using the hardware on the tablet. The reason why I express that is because I'm gonna play Stadia, which does not use the hardware on the tablet. Oh man, I'm gonna crash, oh crap. I have not played this game in ages, so I'm probably gonna suck really bad. Okay, yeah, I'm doing a terrible job here. Okay, uh, <laughs> but I don't know if you can see this, man, but the graphics are not rendering uh, to that crispiness that this game is capable of. This is a very beautiful game. If you got a good uh, set of graphics hardware, on your tablet or phone and i can see a little bit of pixelation around the edges of the car and you know stuff like that so as far as gaming it is capable of playing the games if you're just not going to get that full graphics rendering on an android game now stadia is a much different animal google stadia takes care of all the hardware for you uh, at their data centers and stuff like that and all you do is stream the game onto your, your device, whether it be your TV, PC, or um, your mobile phone or tablet. In this case, we're using a tablet with a controller, and this is Stadia being played. Now, if you see any glitches here or like stutters or something like that, that I cannot blame that on the tablet uh, completely because Stadia is only as good as your Wi-Fi or mobile data connection. Sometimes you get those little stutters or glitches and it's just simply because your connection for streaming is not as ideal as it should be. So right now I'm seeing the graphics render, man. This is smooth, man. This is this looks fantastic, okay? This is 1080p and everything's looking great. So if you're a Stadia gamer or even an Xbox, is it Game Pass still? I forgot they changed it, Xbox something. Uh, I think you're gonna be okay if you're doing it on that. But as far as like those high-end or, you know, those heavy, those heavy uh, power usage Android games, uh, you're not gonna see your graphics as pretty as you would like. Let me cap this guy real quick, all up in the body. Yep, that's how I do that. Now you are going to get Android 10 right out of the box, man. So it's a fairly up-to-date tablet. Let me get that going. Yeah, so you do get Android 10 right out of the box. That's nice to have. Uh, like I said, you get 32 gigs of space and then you get three gigs of RAM. So you're gonna get a little performance there, but you know, it's a budget tablet, keep that in mind. Now, as far as like your touches and stuff like that, screen responsiveness, uh, it it is good when it's good and sometimes you might get some, you know, some lag or something like that. But uh, overall, I think it's a decent tablet at the price and it can be used for a lot of things. Like, you know, you saw me doing the gaming on there via Stadia. Uh, I think, you know, a great e-reader, uh, media consumption as far as YouTube and stuff like that. You are gonna get two sets of speakers right there. They're stereo, they are down firing. This is on the bottom. I actually thought this was uh, some pogo pins so you could attach a keyboard, but no, man, this is, uh, <laughs> this is the stereo speakers right there. They also throw in what seems to be a dying piece of hardware which is your 3.5 millimeter input right there. Look, man, I am no expert on this kind of stuff. And let's get one thing straight. I do not do reviews. A lot of you guys come in here saying, hey, great review, or this review was terrible. Well, either way, it is not a review. This is nothing more than a showcase, man. I'm just showing off these new products for y'all. Uh, a lot of times I do specify what is a review in the title. Unless I say it in the title, it is not a review. But yeah, man, I've never claimed to be an expert in this kind of stuff. But what I do know is this tablet is all right with me. You're paying that budget price, but you're getting a pretty decent experience with it. So until I see y'all again, keep being good to each other, and I'll see you when I see you. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let me get this straight. You sat through this whole video, the whole thing, and never once decided to hit the subscribe button or the like button. Man. It'd be the ones closest to you. I see how you are. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here?